All right, so pretty scientific weather-wise. However, it's those changes that have allowed the cold that is about to spill into not only Montana, but a lot of the lower 48 here. 30 degrees, calm wind. Enjoy that because tomorrow at this time it will not be calm. Great Falls, 24, 15 mile per hour wind. That's nothing compared to what's coming uh, tomorrow. Still some Arctic air up on the high line, four and a half or six in Glasgow. A lot of the state was down close to zero, if not below zero earlier this morning. Strong west to southwest winds starting to develop, but everybody will be getting into some just mean, nasty wind tomorrow here. Late morning into the afternoon, across the state through the afternoon into the evening. Now, see the little streamlines here? It's a west wind tomorrow. The wind dies down tomorrow night, but the wind will shift to the north by Wednesday morning, and that will allow the Arctic air to spill into the state. Stronger wind before the Arctic air, but we'll still have dangerously cold wind chill values later this week. High wind warning, winter storm warning, winter weather advisory. High wind warning for Tuesday. Boy, it's going to be a tough day. Winter storm warning, East Glacier, West Glacier, parts of western Montana. I do suspect more of central Montana will be either under a winter weather advisory or winter storm warning for Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, as that's when we'll start to see some significant snow here. Just a little snow working its way east on I-90. That's part of the system that will bring snow squalls and powerful wind to the state tomorrow. It's another major storm in the center part of the country here. And boy, look at the weather alerts from coast to coast. Flooding, winter storm watch, wind advisory, tornado watch, winter storm warning, blizzard warning. Blizzard warning also for the Cascades, winter storm warning for the higher terrain of the northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest. Whew. All right, here we go. Tonight, a little snow in the mountains. But as we go into tomorrow morning, light snow will work its way out across the high line. But we'll have some heavy snow squalls coming down off the Continental Divide. Helen, around 11 to uh, maybe 1 o'clock or so, 11 a.m. to 1, 2 in the afternoon. Some heavy, heavy snow showers, reducing visibility with some strong wind. Those snow squalls could hit the Lewistown area by 12 to 2 o'clock or so. And then the clouds will break up. We'll have really strong wind. A little snow still up on the Rocky Mountain front here. And then Wednesday, as the Arctic front starts to slip southward in the state, we'll see that interact with some moisture and areas of light snow will develop across a lot of Montana here on Wednesday. Snow by tomorrow evening, a little light snow, northeast Montana. And then with some of those snow squalls around Helena, it could pick up a quick inch, a little more light snow through Wednesday, a little more significant snow through Thursday, Thursday night into Friday, followed by even more snow on Saturday. So things are going to look a lot different here pretty soon. Tonight, not that cold, still pretty chilly out the high line here. But elsewhere, temperatures will not be as cold as they were last night into this morning. Here's the front coming through tomorrow, 30s and 40s above zero, a little light snow northeast Montana, snow squalls along this front late morning into the afternoon for places like Helena and at Lewistown. The Arctic front comes through on Wednesday, temperatures start to fall, light snow falls Thursday, it's colder with a more significant snow developing and look at Friday. High of 17 below in Cup Bank, 15 below in Great Falls, a high of 5 below in Helena with areas of light snow continuing. Could have another round of significant snow on Saturday. Look at those lows this weekend, teens, 20s, maybe even 30s below zero.